but your reply alarms me on so many fronts, as your department are anti-rural as you refuse to give this 20% decrease to rural bus operators to pass on to their customers. But also I have worries on other fronts. In addition to the plight of our fishermen, farmers and the state of our health sector, I have been consistent in raising the issue of security of national energy supply over the last few years here in the Oireachtas. Tragically, all of the dangers I have raised and warned you, Minister, about have come to fruition. For example, we are now paying through the nose for our oil, gas as well as our power. Despite my best efforts, the Government has refused to address my concerns. As an elected member of the Dáil, I must act on behalf of the constituents in the best interest of the Irish nation. Minister Ryan, you need to act in the nation's interest, not in the Green Party's interest. At this point, I wish to point out that I have asked you, the Minister here, numerous times over the last few years about the officially commissioned report on security of energy supply. May I ask you here today, where is this report and why is it over a year late? We are now in an unprecedented crisis, Minister, and it seems Minister, you are not able to take decisions around the national gas supply due to party politics. And you talk about connecting Ireland. 350,000 is all. Every company is going to get this. this time. I think in Cork County we can only deliver two, Thank not new everybody. services, just services that are there already. So I these people need a 20% decrease. Are you going to give it? Are you going to refuse it to rural Ireland and keep it for the Thank capital? Everybody. That's where the carbon tax is going of this country. It's to you, the state Dublin, the people of the capital, but not to the people of rural Ireland. What? What? I'm talking, not to you, Minister, I'm talking to the please, Minister there. Please, I'm well able to talk to me. I don't need, I don't please, need any, I don't need any lecture from you. I'm talking to the please, Minister. Please. I'm talking to the Minister, not well, you. Can, please, you're talking out of can place. Can everyone calm down, talk to please. the Chair here. Please. I can make my point without any interference from you, because I didn't please. speak to you. Thank you. Please. I didn't interfere please. with you. Please, 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 please. Now, Minister. Deputy Collins, um, we were neighbours for many years here, uh, down in LH2000, and I'm sure you had the same experience with me. Do you remember the first day you walked through the gates of Leinster House? It's, there's a tingle up your spine. It's a kind of, and I think we all have shared something that in our constitutional democratic republic, that when you're elected a TD for a constituency, you represent all the people of Cork South West. I represent all the people of Dublin Bay South, regardless of who they vote for. Be they vote for Chris Andrews or for Ivana or whoever, I think when we're elected TDs, we do have that tradition that we represent all the people. And I think in government, if I was giving advice to everyone, anyone in government, and I think everyone really gets this anyway, that if you're elected for government, you're not just thinking about everyone in your constituency, you're thinking about every constituency across the country. You act and serve, we all act and serve in the national interest to try our best, to do our best for all our people. That's the republic that we, that's what the proclamation and the tells us. That report on energy security, we need to conclude quickly now. One of the complications is, we have a lot of interest in Cork, as an example, which are looking to see that there's the potential to convert the huge wind energy we have offshore to hydrogen. Thank you, in Cork Harbour, in Whiddy, in Bantry Bay. And yes, that's complicated to understand, is that the right investment or what else do we need? We will have to conclude that quickly. Time is up. But we'll do it in a way that gives security and looks after the best interests of our people. Thank you very much, Minister. That concludes uh, leaders' questions for today.